Hey guys, John Judd here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about automation clips and copying and pasting the state. Just to start us off today, we are using Flex and what we've done is we are automating the cutoff. I have an automation clip for that. So let's listen to what that sounds like. Pretty standard fare. Now on occasion, every once in a while, I have the need to have another parameter that has that exact same automation, or sometimes in two different synths, you want the same automation to be happening. Sometimes you'll have another VST where you need to bring that automation data to the other synth, and this is the way to do it. Either bringing it to another synth or another parameter within the current synth that you're using. In today's example, we're gonna say that as the low pass is rising, as it's ascending through the frequencies. Let's say I want the vibrato intensity to follow the same automation as the cutoff, as it ascends through the frequencies. Create automation clip, we'll even title it. So that's now the vibrato. Now, of course, the automation that you have right here has nothing in it, it has no data, or it does have data, it's just not data that you want yet. We're gonna go to the automation clip on the master cutoff. We left click and you are going to go to articulator tools, copy state. Then we're going to go to flex vibrato. Same thing, left click, articulator tools. This time we're going to paste the state. Now you have the exact same data being applied to the master filter cutoff and also the vibrato. So give a listen to this. So now both elements, the cutoff and the vibrato, are rising at the same time. Let's say you had imagined this very scenario, but you didn't want the vibrato to be so intense. Let's click on that vibrato automation clip. Let's take a look at these knobs, minimum and maximum. That controls how much of that parameter is actually being affected. So if we bring down the maximum, the vibrato is very intense up here. It's now not going to be traveling that high, so the vibrato will be less intense. So let's go see what it sounds like now. Whereas before, I'm making arbitrary choices here. I'm not saying qualitatively I like one or the other. Just trying to share some info if you didn't know about this. Here's the other thing. You could set the minimum higher and then the vibrato would be in the higher portions of this slider. Now let's imagine you wanted this exact curve, but you wanted it to be less intense overall. You could use a minimum maximum sliders and work on it, or you could click on each point and change it. The other thing to do is articulator tools, scale levels. Then overall, the offset will just shift it the multiplier is multiplying it. So the articulator tools are pretty cool to help come up with things you hadn't thought of, in particular, creating a sequence. I had drawn this one in previously, so let's see if I can come up with something neat. Okay, we'll see what this sounds like. There we go, pretty sweet. So then if you did something like this, character is changing the sound a little bit. Articulator tools, copy state. Articulator tools, paste state. I have no idea what this is gonna sound like, but that's the great thing about this kind of stuff. Before that was added, yeah, we're going to take the reverb. Articulator tools, copy, state, paste. Now this is going to be increasing the reverb a lot, so this could end up being a nightmare. We'll probably have to scale the levels. 
Yeah, this sounds neat. I would probably just back off. I'd probably scale everything a little bit so the reverb was a little bit less. As usual with FL Studio, the possibilities are endless. So I hope that helped you. Hope you're having a good day. I'll catch you soon.